Hello, fellow collectors, prospectors, and investors. Welcome to the Saturday special. So uh, today I just want to take and give an update uh, about how my first Flesh and Blood Armory event went, uh, what the outcome of the event was, and uh, share with you some of the cool things that I picked up while I was there. And uh, hey, let's open up some booster packs while we're at it. Make sure you uh, smash that like button, subscribe, and uh, ding the bell so you're notified of our future videos. All right, uh, welcome back. So like I said, I want to take and uh, go over my uh, Flesh and Blood Armory event experience. And uh, so last Saturday at my local game shop, they had hosted their first Armory event. Now, I had been there two weeks previous for the Welcome event, where I actually got to have some hands-on experience and uh, played a couple of games with the provided Welcome deck. And... Uh, this last Saturday was the first Armory event that I attended, and it was pretty cool. So the local game shops, they actually get uh, promo cards and stuff from uh, Legend Story Studios, who is the creator of Flesh and Blood. And uh, the, the card that I got just for entering into the event was this Polar Blast Ice Action card, which is a... Uh, promo card you see it's a it's a rainbow foil going on there not a cold foil but it's a promo card and it's cool and uh, I got that this is from the uh, what is this from LG I'm not sure but I got that just for uh, entering the event and uh, I want to say this is from the new uh, Tales of Aria set there and uh, so there was only six players to enter the event, and um, I placed fourth. And I can't kick myself, though, because this was the first time that I played uh, actual constructed play, where um, we actually had constructed blitz decks that we were playing. And so if you're unfamiliar with the game or just getting into it, the blitz is a form of the game where you use the young hero which starts with only 20 health points and it's a faster gameplay uh, the games actually had a 30 minute time limit but most games could be completed in about 15 to 20 minutes but the rules of the competition was uh, 30 minutes and so i i won my first uh, round i lost my second round to a ninja I want to believe the guy was playing Kato. And I went into my third round hoping to uh, clinch another win and get that third place spot. But I ended up falling to Levia, the Shadow Brute from Monarch. Um, I was actually playing Bolton, the Light Warrior from Monarch. And uh, I had contemplated taking my Levia deck that I've been working on building. But I, I just wasn't comfortable playing Levia yet. And so I decided to go with Bolton. And, uh, well, he got me the fourth. So uh, one of the other things that we got just for entering into the competition was uh, a booster pack. From that booster pack, I pulled this Biting Gale, which is a rare uh, Elemental Guardian Defense Reaction card. And... Uh, this one is also a rainbow foil, so that was pretty cool to uh, to pull pull a rare rainbow foil out of the uh, the pack I got for entering, and uh, my my prize for coming in fourth place was this promo uh, old him grandfather of eternity. So this is the um, adult version of Oldham, who is the elemental guardian hero from the new tales of aria now i have his blitz deck which includes the young version of the hero um, but this is the adult version and this was the promo that i was awarded for coming into fourth place so while i was there last week i actually took and uh, picked up they had a sealed blaster box available of monarch and considering i'm currently playing with some monarch characters 
I decided, hey, what the heck? Let's uh, let's open some Monarch today. So uh, let me take and get into this here. And uh, there's 24 packs to a booster box. And I'm thinking maybe we'll just take and sit here and open a few. I contemplated leaving this uh, sealed up, but uh, Monarch appears to have plenty available. And so I figured, what the heck, let's just uh, get in on some of this and uh, see what we can find. I'm actually looking for several cards uh, for my Bolton deck. And so maybe I'll get lucky and find some. We have a token, Spectral Shield with a soul shackle on the reverse of that, which is a shadow rune blade aura token. We have a graveling growl, rifted torment. We have a bounding demigod, engulfing light. I was playing that. Spears of serility, an illusionist attack. We have bolt of courage. This is a uh, light warrior. Another card that I was playing in my Bolton. Seek Enlightenment. Pound for Pound. Memorial Ground. Warmonger's Recital. It's a generic action. We have a Belittle. Another Warmonger's Recital. Hooves of the Shadow Beast. This is a Shadow Brute Equipment card. Uh, so this would be Legs. We have a... Unhallowed Rites. Yeah, I totally passed that up. That Warmonger song was actually a uh, rainbow foil. So I didn't catch that on the last one. And the uh, Unhallowed Rites here is actually a rare Shadow Rune Blade action attack card. And we pulled a Majestic. This is the Sonata. Arcanix, which is a Rune Blade action card, and this is a Majestic. I'm uh, still waiting for the day that I pull a uh, Legendary or a Fabled. Hopefully that happens sometime. Um, so I've learned on these packs, if you get on the center line there, you can actually uh, split them right down the center. So our token is a Galaxy Black, which is a Shadow Rune Blade weapon, and Chain on the back, who is the person who would use that weapon. <laughs> so we've got Smash with a Big Tree, Rift Bind, Boneyard Marauder, the Herald of Protection. This is a Light Illusionist action card, um, so unfortunately not something I would use. Second Swing, this was a card that I did play in my Bolton deck last weekend. The Herald of Rebirth, another Light Illusionist uh, attack action card. This is actually a good card to have if you're playing like Prism. Uh, I am currently waiting on a Prism deck. Uh, Void Wraith, this is a Shadow action attack. Blood Tribute, another Shadow instant. Pound for Pound. Stony Wootenhog. So that's the first time that I've actually seen that card, which is surprising. I've opened quite a few Monarch boosters, and uh, it's the first time I've seen that. I've got a Brandish. We have a Express Lightning Rainbow Foil here. So uh, Express Lightning is another card that I uh, was playing in my Bolton deck. Uh, this is a zero cost for attack. It's an awesome card, which also um, allows you to charge your soul uh, by playing that card, which for Bolton is a must. We have a uh, Aether Iron Weave. So this is a Rune Blade chest equipment card. We have a Battlefield Blitz Rare. Uh, this is another card that I was playing in my Bolton deck. This is a cost one attack five card uh, that comes with go again. So it's a pretty pretty strong card to have. And then we have Tremor of Iathrael, another rare generic action attack. So 
So I'm uh, kind of hoping that I can pull another um, via the Vanguard uh, is a card that I'm looking for for my Bolton deck. Um, Beacon of Victory. I'm looking to pull a couple of those. Uh, we have a Spectral Shield uh, token and a Hatchet of Mind, Warrior Weapon. Uh, this is one of the weapons that I was playing with for my Bolton deck. I'm also looking for the sword for him. So we have a Deadwood Rumbler, Bounding Demigod, the Hungering Slaughter Beast, Second Swing, Herald of Rebirth, Courageous Steel Hand. Uh, this was a card that I was running in my deck as well because uh, this was a attack reaction. And so if I had charged Bolton's soul uh, during my attack, I could play this card as an attack reaction and my target attack would actually gain plus three. Surging Militia. Brandish. Eclipse Existence. Most interesting. Minnowism. This was a uh, another card that I was playing in my deck. The uh, what this does is your next attack action card with three or less uh, base attack gains plus one, and uh, this is a go again. We have an adrenaline rush. There we go. Our herald of judgment is a rainbow foil. Beautiful, beautiful rare card right there. We have a Dream Weavers Illusionist Equipment, a Rithering Beast Hulk, rare, and finally a Dimensional Gateway, which is a Shadow Rune Blade Action Rare. All right, let's uh, go ahead and rip into one more pack here. We'll about to put us at. Uh, Four packs, and uh, looks like this one's going to be a pain in the butt here. So let's come in here and give this the old slicey slice. <clears throat> Get our packs out of the way here. So our token card is a Ravenous Meat Axe. This is a Brute Weapon. And we have the Levia Shadow Brute. This is the Young card. And in our pack here, we have Arcanic Crackle, Deadwood Rumbler, Seeds of Agony. Uh, this card actually just got banned from play. Um, this is a Shadow Rune Blade action. Uh, I believe this card came standard in the uh, Chain Blitz decks, but for Classic Constructed, this card is actually banned and not allowed. We have an Engulfing Light. We have a War Tune Herald. Bolt of Courage. Void Wraith. Another Minnowism. Zealous Belting. Brandish. Adrenaline Rush. This is a nice card to have for the Bolton deck. And uh, it's also our rainbow foil here. We have an Invigorating Light. Now this is a red. It's a very expensive card. So this is red. It's a cost three for attack six. Um, but with Bolton's abilities, um, you can actually charge that up. We have a Halo of Illumination. Light equipment for head. We have a Howl from Beyond which is a shadow action, rare. And then we have Shadow of Blasphemet, which is a majestic shadow brute action, so a card for my Levia deck. All right, folks, so uh, that was it. I just wanted to give a quick update on the uh, um, Armory event that I attended last weekend. We have another one coming up here on the 30th, and I'm going to try and attend that one as well. Hopefully with a little bit stronger of a Bolton deck this time. And uh, maybe I can walk away with uh, something better than fourth place. <laughs> so uh, opened uh, four 
blasters or boosters, excuse me, of uh, some Monarch Unlimited. Uh, we ended up pulling a couple of Majestics, including uh, Shadow of Blasphemet. And um, we pulled a nice rare here, the Herald of Judgment. And uh, this Foil Invigorating Light, just beautiful card, good cards to have. Um, and uh, the Battlefield Blitz, another great card for the Bolton deck. The Express Lightning, I use that a lot in my Bolton deck as well. So here's our other Majestic, the Sonata Arcanix. So this is a Rune Blade action card. So unfortunately that won't be going in my uh, my Bolton deck, but maybe I'll find a place for it if I decide to start playing with Chain. Anyway, uh, tell me in the comments what your favorite card was, and uh, if you're playing Flesh and Blood, you got any tips or tricks, they can be sure to take and drop those down there as well. If you're on social, be sure to uh, give us a follow on Facebook at Cardboard Prospector, on Twitter at Card underscore Prospector, and on Instagram at Cardboard Prospector. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Make sure that you join us tomorrow for our Mystery Pack Sunday. And uh, until then, y'all just keep on ripping. <laughs>